stock stars here. Um, I wanted to follow up on that last video we did about um, basically purging fear. How can you get from a fear state to some uh, place better? Thank you for the interest. Um, I appreciate uh, that a number of you purchased that collection and also that you had so many questions. A reoccurring theme that comes up when you're trying to get to a place of calm uh, and you're trying to manage fear is what's the in-between zone? And what I mean by that, it's like if you've been suffering through, you know, some kind of severe or hypertension or you feel agitated or jangly um, and there's a lot going on, this month, uh, November 2021, uh, it's going to be one of the most chaotic months that we've probably been through in a while. Um, I got through the second and the fourth, which are two of an assortment of really bad days this month. Seemingly okay, but I still, ex you know, had my own experiences. So <clears throat> that in-between zone between, uh, you know, when you're feeling panicked and, you know, hopefully when you come out of that panic, what is that in-between zone? So that's calm, getting to the point where you were either too terrified or rattled or angry or confused to be able to think straight, um, and then getting to a place where you're approaching calm. So it's good that we want to neutralize the fear as much as we can. That previous collection, I designed that where it's speculative that it's supposed to impart a tempo or pattern you know, you know, again, this is a speculation to purge the fear out. And that was a big collection um, that usually retails for something like $2,700. We put it on sale in October for $169. i am going to put the same sale on uh, for November for the Purge Fear collection. You can find out more about that below. But we have another collection um, that's all about calm. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about why being calm is important, what that actually means and also just in relation to the frequency collection that we have. So some of the larger kind of like module collection library style ones where there's quite a few tracks and they're, and it's expensive, like the whole you know collection is expensive. It's essentially packed with similar kinds of themes or frequencies that support each other. So what I'm going to do for November is I'm going to put one of our big libraries on like a big sale. It's going to be a significant discount. Uh, so we have um, a collection that's about 49 tracks. It usually sells for around $1,000. I'm going to put that on sale only for November um, to support Calm. But let me talk, and you can find all that information out in the comment section below. So when I say Calm, I mean it's like you're having a moment where you don't feel hyper agitated and it feels as if you're either drifting towards considering possible viable solutions, um, you're starting to feel a little bit better, you know, you're breathing, you know, better. Um, and remember that any of the tools that we offer, you know, you should consider them as complementary to other practices uh, that work really well. So, for example, a lot of you know that just changing your breathing. If you're, if you're getting hypertense, notice your breathing, right? I, I'm not like a big, you know, yoga guru, uh, but I certainly know enough about the variety of practices out there um, that work generally really well. And one of them is pay attention to your breath. If you're getting excited uh, and you're upset, you know, your breath rate will change. And you need to understand that not just for your body and not just for what they might say in things like yoga, I have a lot of respect for various aspects of yoga, um, is that the rates of your breathing is a frequency. And as a frequency, you'll be resonating in a certain kind of headspace. So the probability of your headspace, the point is you want to try to change your state out of a place of chaos. If, if you're breathing really fast and it's jerky and you're feeling it, you know, it can feel like a pulse, like a throbbing pulse that's going through you and it's not a pleasant feeling. So what you want to do <clears throat> is as you're using, you know, if you're using the Purge Fear Collection and you're finding that it's helping lower the fear, um, you want to also, also, if you can, try to get a sustained rhythm. 
like a sense of harmony back. We want a sense of harmony back. Um, there's going to be, for a lot of you, you know, some big decisions and actions that you may have to take. And some of them might uh, seem really scary. Uh, and I, I know what that feels like. Um, what I find often works really well for me is being able to make fast micro adjustments in the orientation of my attitude, my behavior, how I'm expressing myself, but also really important, what I think my current perspective is. Because the weird thing about perspectives is that you take a snapshot in your conscious mind of what you think you understand of a certain situation or scenario, and when you're, you know, when you're not calm, when you're uh, scared, it's like a flash freeze, you know, frame. You know, it's it's part of a movie scene, and that movie scene has the tendency to go a certain direction, and you you feel like your mind and emotions are very fixated on that. So as much as you can, the you know, as best as you're able, you know, you want to become aware that that's part of what you're experiencing, but it's not necessarily, the, or and it doesn't have to be the entirety. So the, the you know, one thing that can work really well is you step back and you, you may acknowledge that there's some degree of truth to some part of a scenario that you see playing out that perhaps you might be caught in, but you step back and you adopt a different attitude, deep breaths, regulate your breathing, and then in that place of calmness that you're getting to, you can start to make better considerations. You can evaluate the overall experience more holistically because you don't want to get side blinded you know like spastic unknown dangers can emerge that's true um, but it doesn't mean that they have to get you or that you have to be stuck in there and sometimes you know it's hard because it can be a feeling of gravity you know where just the, the sheer inertia or you know weight of the overall scenario <clears throat> seems burdensome and it may feel like you know like you don't have the energy like you might feel tired like where are the resources going to come even if you could have a good idea like what would you do so i think getting into that calm headspace is deepening and broadening you know what, your understanding of what's actually going on and i think that you know <clears throat> a number of the frequencies that we've designed that are in the um, like the calm collection, they're very grounding. Um, and, and if I were to summarize the effect of all of them, they're they're designed to you know in a speculated way affect different parts of the body and mind where fear can get frozen, <clears throat> where it can be lodged maybe more strongly. So the point is to shake that up and then give you a chance to kind of get a breather and then calmly reflect. Because after calm comes action. Like, like at some point, a lot of you, it's like you need to come to a state in your mind and heart that gives you stability. But then when you're stable and you determine, you know, what is the best option, then you need to act on it. Um, but for November, you want to stay calm. So in the comment section below, you'll find a number of links. Um, you know, you're welcome to try any of these collections. There's more information. I'd like to also offer you some hope. Um, there's a lot of bad things going on right now. And a lot of indications is that for a lot of different parts of the planet, you know, some more than others, it's going to get worse. Um, but from everything I've seen, and I've studied in depth a lot of what's been going on, I haven't released anywhere near... Uh, publicly as much as I've studied and it's just a time thing and then also you know I'm trying to be intelligent about what I say when um, and I look at what's going on from a lot of different perspectives and there's there's a lot of danger afoot a lot of chaos you know this month will certainly have its share of that for sure but there is a path through I know I, I feel very certain about that I don't think enough people will find that path through. Um, I think some people will find the path through and it will be 
but it will be harder in some cases for some people than others because, for example, you're going to have you're going to have people that are going to come to realizations that they should have come to much earlier. And so I still think that people that are say behind in the game have a chance. But I think a big part of it, um, despite your situation. How prepared you may or may not be in certain areas. You can certainly have people that are prepared, you know, really well in one area and not necessarily in another. Um, but I think what it's going to come down to, like part of what offers actual tangible support, so that you can actually make it to where you should be, where you should be, in a much happier place, um, is what's happening with your repetitive choices over a given day. So if, if you were piloting a boat through troubled waters, how well you were able to steer that boat at the right time would matter a lot as to how well you make it through the rapids, right? And so whatever you can have in place on a you know daily basis that helps give you that kind of support, it means that when the challenges come, there's a better chance that you may not feel as fatigued as you may, or you may be more resilient than you imagined. You know, like as an example, if some of you have been say exercising recently, but it was light exercise, um, and maybe you've been doing it for eight months, and then suddenly there's a crisis, you have to respond to that, and you surprise yourself because you're actually responding quicker, stronger, faster, better than you thought you would, and you're in better shape than you imagined. And so you, it helps you get through that. And so I think that um, this sort of mindset, this place in heart, you know, like I always talk about how important sincerity, authenticity is. And I, and I believe that the most important thing that we have right now is the cultivation of our spiritual life. That's the most important thing. Um, everything else branches off that, right? Uh, but it's also in the cultivation of aspects of yourself, uh, like fine-tuning as much as you can. You know, so right nutrition, proper sleep, um, you know, meditation practice, you know, supplements, vitamin supplements, whatever it is that you can strengthen and fortify your constitution. That should also be a focus. So I'm going to leave it there. I'd like to talk with you guys more. I just I'm short on time myself. I would suggest you, you take a look at the Calm Frequency Collection below. Um, it's, it's very well put together, addresses a lot of pretty important things. Um, like the, I mean, there's, as an example, there's themes within the themes that address things like a deep study on the effect of polarized light to a blue wavelength um, that's been converted as a representation via frequency and that was based on so yeah it was basically it was a study that our group did um, and it was it was based on a therapeutic application uh, that was somewhat prevalent in the late 1800s and it had to do with uh, people that had different kinds of um, issues health issues uh, purportedly were found to benefit by a, a certain kind of blue glass with you know preferably natural light coming through uh, it was a very interesting study so one of the goals was to see if we could replicate some of those effects um, got a lot of good feedback from members but there's quite a few things on the um, on the calming uh, set uh, I think one of the biggest ones is we did like a mercury Neptune Saturn moon harmonization um, and when we say that it's not just like a you know astrological woo thing the idea is that we try to isolate what the specific kind of information field uh, would be uh, experienced by a human organism the archetype you know the archetypal energies attributed to those particular planets so if you had those planets and they were um, not in good aspect with each other they would tend to you know purportedly have effects on things like the nervous system that would not be pleasant which would be essentially things like fear anxiety you know that sort of stuff um, and then we've got the Saturn moon uh, harmonizer very similar thing 
Um, those are remarkable trucks, so those are included. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other ones that are um, kind of geared towards body effects. Um, so we don't just want the mind to become calm. We want the, the body to feel calm, if possible, as well. Uh, things, you know, for sleeping, you know, the emotions. It's a robust package. Um, uh, basically, the way these collections often result is I'll have someone that comes to me and just asks me, hey, <clears throat> I'd like to get help with a certain kind of theme, you know? And what, what can I uh, suggest to them, like theme-wise? Uh, that might help them and so it's a good yeah so I, I would suggest um, you know you should check out the links below you'll get an idea as to what the um, you know what kinds of effects you know you could hope to experience uh, and we'll leave it there